Conducting Marketing Research Chapter 4 Marketers require up-to-date, accurate, and actionable data on customers, competitors, and brands for effective tactical and strategic decision-making. This data plays a crucial role in informing brand and product launches. Stay updated online. This chapter provides an overview of marketing research. Marketing research is crucial for marketing managers, providing valuable insight into specific problems and opportunities. It aids decision-making by offering valuable information. Marketing research aims to uncover valuable insights that explain marketing dynamics. These insights play a vital role in enhancing marketing strategies. Marketing research is conducted by companies, students, professors, competitors, marketing partners, and employees. It is crucial for businesses. Professors and students contribute to projects. Internet research involves competitor site analysis, monitoring online conversations, and utilizing social media tools. Small companies gain insights from competitors. Marketing partners provide market intelligence. Customer service plays a role in problem solving for companies. Companies conduct research on their industries, competitors, target audiences, and channel strategies using diverse resources. They allocate 1-2% to of their sales budget to marketing research, often outsourcing to external firms. These firms fall into three categories. Syndicated service research firms that collect and sell consumer and trade information, custom marketing research firms that design and report studies for specific projects, and specialty line research firms that provide specialized services such as field interviewing. Companies often face challenges in utilizing marketing research effectively, despite its growth. The issues at hand include the understanding of its capabilities, problem definition, and information provided to researchers. Unrealistic expectations regarding the benefits of research can also hinder its proper utilization. Consequently, these factors have contributed to numerous historical mistakes in the field. Marketers adopt a formal marketing research process consisting of six steps to leverage available resources effectively. Step 1 Marketing research begins by identifying the problem, decision alternatives, and objectives. Marketers need to strike a balance between narrowing and broadening the issues. Overdefining the problem can be problematic. Marketers should ask relevant questions to gain insights. Step 2. Develop the research plan. Efficient data collection is essential in marketing research. It involves considering costs and potential profits. Primary data is newly gathered, while secondary data is readily available. Marketers typically begin by examining secondary data. Primary data can be collected through focus groups, surveys, behavioral data, and experiments. Observation allows for discreetly observing shoppers and consumers. Ethnographic research involves living with consumers to gain deep cultural insights. It is valuable for both consumer and business-to-business -business companies in understanding their target audience. Focus groups engage in in-depth discussions, moderated by professionals based on marketing managers' agendas. Marketers observe the discussions through two-way mirrors. Smaller group sizes are preferred for more effective discussions. Generalizing findings to the entire market is not recommended due to the small and non-random sample. Some marketers prefer alternative research settings. Practical tips can enhance the quality of focus groups. Surveys assess customer knowledge, beliefs, preferences, and satisfaction. Companies use various types of surveys and data collection methods. To combat survey fatigue, companies use short surveys and incentives to increase participation. Behavioral research examines customer purchasing behavior through store scanning data, customer databases, and online behavior. Actual purchases are more reliable than self-reported statements. Research tools include qualitative measures, questionnaires, and technology. Flexibility makes questionnaires popular for primary data collection. The answers to a question are affected by how it is asked, how it is worded, and how it is asked. Closed-end questions are easier to interpret and add up. Open-ended questions let people answer, which is good for exploratory research. Qualitative research methods give you indirect and creative ways to find out what people think, so you can get a variety of answers. They can give useful information about how people think and act. 
qualitative research has some challenges, like small sample sizes and the chance that researchers will disagree. Some popular qualitative methods are word associations, projective techniques, visualizing, giving a brand a personality, and laddering. Qualitative and quantitative measures are used by marketers because they work well together. A company can use online panels, video diaries, and online surveys to test how a product is used at home. Galvanometers and tachistoscopes measure interest and emotions evoked by ads or pictures. Visual technology advancements benefit marketing researchers and managers. Technology replaces media survey diaries with audiometers and electronic devices that track TV channels, radio programs, and exposure to billboards using GPS. The sampling plan requires you to make three choices, the sampling unit, the sampling frame, and the sample size and method. Marketers need to decide who to survey, make a sampling frame with equal chances, and choose a sample size and method that are representative. Probability sampling lets you figure out your confidence limits and make sure that your data is representative. Using a reliable sampling method, you can get reliable results with a sample size of less than 1%. The marketing researcher needs to choose a contact method to reach the subjects. Mail, telephone, in person, or online. Mail contacts involve using a questionnaire sent by mail to reach individuals who may not prefer personal interviews or whose responses could be influenced by interviewers. Mail questionnaires should have straightforward and well-worded questions. However, response rates are typically low and slow. Telephone contacts provide a quick method for gathering information and allowing clarifications. However, it is important to keep interviews brief and not too personal. In the United States, telephone surveys have become more challenging due to consumer resistance to telemarketers and the Do Not Call registry. Personal contacts through interviews offer versatility but are more expensive and subject to bias. Online contacts offer various options such as embedding questionnaires on websites, hosting virtual focus groups, or utilizing social media platforms for engagement and feedback. Online research methods can provide faster insights and have been successfully used by companies. In 2011, $2.4 billion was made from online research. Online surveys can be made with SurveyMonkey, SurveyGizmo, Qualtrics, and Google Consumer Surveys. These platforms make it easier to make and send out online surveys. Online tracking of customer behavior, real-time trends, and comparisons of different marketing strategies. Virtual reality and online communities make it cheap, quick, honest, and easy to do research online. Traditional methods of research should be used along with online ones. There are problems with online market research. Because not all households have access to the internet, especially those with low incomes, in rural areas, or in certain parts of the country, samples can be small and biased. Researchers need to think of new ways to help these groups. Organizers also have to keep online panels and communities active because people leave and not enough people join. Technology and browser problems can also make it hard to do research. But online researchers have started to use text messages to get teens' attention. The data collection phase of marketing research can be expensive and prone to errors. Challenges include reaching respondents who are unavailable or incooperative, as well as dealing with biased or dishonest answers. Step 3. Collect the information. Getting data for marketing research is expensive and often wrong. Dealing with incooperative respondents, answers that are biased or not honest, and making sure that international data collection is consistent are all problems. During the analysis phase of marketing research, the results are summed up and put into tables. Researchers use complex statistical methods and decision models to figure out averages, measure spread, and learn more. They also test hypotheses, do sensitivity analysis, and judge the strength of conclusions. Respondents from different parts of the world may have different needs, like the need for interactive elements or the need to use the right language to make sure they feel comfortable and can take part. There are also cultural factors that affect how open people are in focus groups and online surveys. Step 5. Present the findings. In the final step, the researcher presents the findings of the marketing research. They may play a consulting role in translating data into insights and recommendations for management. 
Step 6. Make the decision. In the final step, research findings inform the final decision. They can also pursue additional research. Marketing Decision Support Systems, MDSS, collect and analyze data to help organizations make better decisions. Marketing and Sales Software aids research and planning. The seven characteristics of good marketing research. 1. Scientific method. It involves observation, hypothesis formulation, prediction, and testing. 2. Research creativity. Researchers demonstrate creativity in their approaches, such as the example of using a brand mascot to gather insights about Cheetos snacks, which led to successful repositioning. 3. Multiple methods. Researchers avoid relying too heavily on a single method and recognize the value of using multiple methods to enhance confidence in the results. 4. Interdependence of models and data. Researchers understand that data interpretation is guided by underlying models, which shape the type of information sought. 5. Value and cost of information. Researchers consider the balance between the value of information and its cost. While costs are relatively straightforward to determine, the value depends on the reliability and validity of the findings and management's willingness to act on them. 6. Healthy skepticism. Researchers maintain a skeptical mindset towards assumptions made by managers about how the market works, being aware of potential marketing myths and questioning unfounded assumptions. 7. Ethical marketing. Marketing research should benefit both the company and its customers. Researchers must be mindful of ethical considerations, avoiding misuse that could harm or annoy consumers, infringe on their privacy, or engage in deceptive sales tactics. Marketing productivity can be hard to measure because of how long it takes for results like brand awareness and customer loyalty to happen. Internal and external changes make it even harder to separate the effects of marketing. But the goal of marketing research is to figure out how well marketing activities work. There are two ways to measure the effectiveness of marketing. 1. Using marketing metrics to measure effects and 2. Using marketing mix modeling to estimate causal relationships and measure how marketing affects outcomes. Marketing dashboards are a structured way to share the insights that these methods give you. Marketers use marketing metrics to measure how well they are doing and to figure out how their marketing is working. Based on their goals and challenges, companies use different metrics. Measuring the effects of social media can be hard, but it's important to use the right metrics. To evaluate the performance of marketing, you have to look at both short-term sales and long-term brand equity, which includes customer awareness and loyalty. Innovation and measuring how well employees do their jobs are also important parts of evaluation. Marketing mix modeling helps predict investments by looking at many different types of data. Through regression and multivariate analyses, it measures how marketing affects the sales of a brand and its share of the market. The modeling helps to find budgets that aren't being used well and sets minimum investments. But it doesn't measure combined effects or combine key metrics like customer satisfaction and brand equity. Metrics about competitors, trade, and sales forces are often left out. Marketing dashboards make the most of the value by putting together and making sense of metrics. They give operational monitoring information in real time. Dashboards are short performance indicators that are used by everyone in an organization. They can be shown in different ways, such as through color coding, symbols, and charts. Business intelligence software is used by marketing controllers to make dashboards that show a collection of data. Scorecards for customers and other stakeholders are used to measure performance and send early warning signs. When results aren't as expected, management takes action. Effective business operations require real-time marketing dashboards. They improve communication, focus thinking, and evaluate marketing investments. Customer, unit, cash flow, and brand metrics are common measurement pathways. Customer metrics track the customer journey and experience. Unit metrics analyze sales, marketing efficiency, and margin optimization. Cash flow metrics evaluate short-term returns and ROI. Brand metrics measure brand health and financial performance. A well-designed dashboard visualizes interconnected metrics from all pathways. Tabs simplify switching metrics. 
Each tab displays the most insightful business unit, geography, or customer segment metrics. Critics worry about missing the big picture, losing privacy, and putting too much pressure on employees, but experts say the benefits are greater than the risks. Thanks for watching.